number two then, a binomial expansion, but not the tedious one where you've got to expand it all out and write all the terms. Here it just wants you to find a particular term in this, the term which is independent of x. But it leads you along the way, quite rightly, by saying state and simplify the general term. Then, it says hence or otherwise, otherwise, find the term independent of x. So what that means is there's marks for setting out the general term and then probably just the last, well it's not probably, and then just the last mark for actually finding it. So if you found it by other means, you'd only get one mark out of three. You have to do this bit first. So what's the general term? Maybe I'll just put UR for the general term because the general term in a binomial is made up of three parts. There's the binomial coefficient, which in this case is 6R, the combinations. Then there's the first part of the binomial. And then there's the second part, two parts to a binomial. And normally, and it doesn't really matter which way around you do, but normally you take this to be the one that starts at 6 and works its way down. And this is one that starts at 0 and works its way up. So this is the one that's going to go with R. But you could have them the other way around and you'd still find the correct term. So that means this must be the one that goes 6 minus r. As r climbs, this drops. And in all cases, these two powers should add up to 6. Well, doing that gets the first mark. But you have to simplify it. Well, I'll just leave 6r the way it is just now. Simplify it means pull out the numbers and keep the variables separately. So the numbers are, there's a 2, which is to the power 6 minus r. There's also a negative 5, which is to the power r. Not much I can do with those. And then the x terms will be, well, this one, maybe I'll do this bit to the side, is 6 minus r. But this one, since it's underneath, will be subtracted from it. If you're dividing them, you subtract the powers. And it's a square, so it's minus 2r. So that means it's 6 minus 3r altogether. Doing that gets the second mark, so that's the term simplified. There's the general term simplified. Now you just need to identify that term. It says independent of x. Independent of x means you're looking for 6 minus 3r. The power of x has to come to 0. So 3r would have to be 6, so r is going to be 2. No marks for that, because there's only one mark left. It says... One mark for identifying the correct value of r and putting it in and getting the answer. So it means the term you're looking for, u2, remember that's not the second term because it starts at r equals 0, so it's the third term in. u2 is going to be 6, 2, 2 to the power, and that will be 4, negative 5 to the power 2, and of course x to the 0. I'll put it in anyway. And that will then disappear because that's just 1. Now you could just put that into your calculator, and maybe I'll just write it out, 6, 2, many ways of choosing 2 from 6, that's 6 times 5 over 2 times 1. 2 to the power 4, I'll just put that straight down, 16, negative 5 squared is 25, and of course that's just 1. So that's going to be 2 into 16 goes 8, 8 25s are 200, 5 times that's 1000, 6 times 1000 is 6000. But you're just doing your calculator. And... There's a the third mark. You had to get that 6,000 from the general term according to the question. If you'd written all the terms out and identified 6,000, you'd only get this one mark out of the three.